Hello and welcome to your fourth C++ lesson. This one is on file input output. Alright, so first of all, we're going to cover writing files and writing to files. Okay, so first of all, the includes. Obviously we have our input output stream, but then we also have another one, and this is F stream, that stands for file stream. So there's also two other includes that are for input output, um, which is Basically, they're specific to either input or output. Um, file stream will do you most of the time, so I just use file stream. Uh, mainly because if you're going to write to files, a lot of the time you're going to need to read them as well. So, then we use namespace standard. We've got int main, and then this is the bit where the actual writing to file stuff comes in. So, of stream, that's output file stream, my file. So, that's kind of a variable type there. OF stream. It basically means that my file is the thing that's going to handle the file stuff for us. It's kind of a, uh, a handler type thing. So my file dot open. So open basically, and then in the brackets file name dot txt, which is just going to be the file that it creates. Because what it's going to try and do, it's going to try and open it. If it doesn't exist, it creates it. That's just what the function does. And then we've got my file, and then the instation operators. So it's a lot like the C out um, statement. I'm not sure if you call it a statement. Oh well. Um, so my file, and then writing this to a file, backslash n. And the backslash n basically just means new line. And then we just semicolon that. Um, you can just semicolon it, by the way. Uh, most of the times we'll be, we've used endl, but you can just um, do backslash n and then semicolon. And then my file dot close closes the file, so it's not still open, which is just good practice. And then return zero. Uh, you'll notice we don't have a system pause on this, just because we're not really bothered about the user seeing anything, because the user isn't going to see anything; they're just going to see a blank screen. Um, but the file will be created, so let's just save this, and then debug it. So for some reason, when you debug it in um, Visual C++ 2008 Express, it doesn't actually create the TXT file. So just go to your debug folder in your projects, and then you're going to have to double click the EXE manually. And there we go, file name of TXT has just appeared. We can double click it, open it with Notepad, and it says writing this to a file, and then it has a new line. So this is basically exactly what we put in the statement, if you call it a statement. Um, so if that's writing to files, that's all pretty simple. You might not get some of the whole stream stuff, but you'll pick it up. What about reading to files? Oh, sorry, not reading to files. Reading files. Um, have still have the same includes f stream because it handles all the file stuff. Still using standard. Blah, blah blah blah. Now this is a bit more complicated. Input file stream. It's a bit like the output file stream, and then my file, and then we're specifying it file name with txt. So before we add this in two lines, we've just basically shoved it into one. And then we create a new char variable. Now what this is, is it can only hold one character, so like A or B. It can only hold one thing, basically. And um, we're calling that ch. And then we have a while loop, which we do more about in the loops lesson. Or I might have put them in separate lessons, I can't remember now. It might be a while loop and then a for loop lesson. Um, and basically, it's while we got it, get a character, and then output the character. So it does it character by character. So if in the file it said hello, it would go H E E L O. And then it go, okay, it's all done now. My file dot close, system pause, so we can see the results and what the file contained, and then return zero. So if this does work if you just debug it, so we can just click start debugging. And um, because we created the file name file name with txt, and this is what we put in it, uh, this is what it's reading. So that is actually that. We can now read and write files. Um, you see, with, other, with some of the other stuff, like the if statements, you should just remember it. Um, this isn't so important that you can just remember it, but it's quite useful to use, and a lot of the time I just like messing about with text files and log files and other types of files. Um... And that is basically it. Um, obviously, what you could do, I'm not gonna do the whole thing because I'm always under pressure with these YouTube videos. Oops. 
um, is we can do a just gonna do an example real quick. So I can just go char let's not call it char, let's just call it input. And then we can go C in input. And then we could use the inf statements and yada yada. I'll basically just to show you what you could do, so enter A for reading files. Enter B for writing files. And line and then it then uses C in to figure it to um prompt the user for input, sorry. And then we can have an if statement, so if input equals equals because it's a comparison, not a setting. So it's A and we're just gonna do a comment with a double slash. Do reading file stuff. Else if input equals equals B then we want to do the writing file stuff. Let's copy this. And then we can just have an else statement just in case something goes wrong. Please try again. Alright, so that will work, you know, if you just shove the reading stuff in here, shove the writing stuff in here, and then the F stream sort of does the rest. Because basically what F stream is and what IO stream are is their files which C sort of comes with and they have various different functions and other things stored in them which you can access when you include them with this little include thing. Um, I think I do all about include files and other preprocessor directives in the preprocessor directives lesson which is much later on. But just thought I'd tell you. Um, okay, that's the end of this lesson. Mess about with text files, and I think it can do log files via this method as well, and probably some other files. So, play around with that. Uh, that's the end of this lesson. Have a nice day.